I assume you're tying it to the Hegelian dialectic, but at times it seemed more like you were describing a negative dialectic where the two terms are never resolved. Yeah. Like, yeah. can you hear me there? Like the dream yeah. symbol yeah. and the dream label, it right. means that there's no point of contact or resolution. So there seems to be no Aufhebung in the Hegelian sense. And it seems more like an Adornian, kind of like Adorno's concept of negative dialectics. So I was wondering if you could speak I, to sort of what possibly. Possibly, I'm not sure that they're that, that I don't. I'm not sure that I see Hegel as being um, particularly resolving of, of the, <laughs> of the let's okay. just call it the antinomies or the or the contradictions that we can call dialectical or we can call it some other word. I mean, by dialectical, I guess I meant that the um, not simply that there's a contrast or an opposition, but the the, the, the two the two poles of the op opposition seem to be feeding each other. Seem to be seem to be generative of each, of each other. In that sense, they're kind of linked, like Siamese twins. You can't, they can't, you know, they they're they're bouncing off each other. They're doing the same work, then they're feeding each other's work. Um, that doesn't lead to resolution, but it leads to a kind of uncuttable. It leads actually to an uncuttable knot or a navel, actually yeah. between between the navel and the symbol now that you now that you mention it. Um, so it's hard for me to speak of the contrast between Hegel and Adorno because I don't have such a positive view of Ador of Hegel's. Oh, okay. So uh, and Adorno's negative dialectic, which he definitely defines against a certain model of what he takes to be the Hegelian dialectic, really rests on, and, and that's fine, everybody needs their people, but you know, it rests on a very, very wooden um, model of what, 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 what Hegel's all about. Yeah, the perfect resolution. And yeah. It's all about, pers yeah, it's, it's a, as, as a philosopher of affirmation and positivity and mm -hmm. resolution and identity and so on. So, I mean, and that's fine. I mean, we would be through having Hegel, you know, in this monstrous way to allow the door to, you know, develop some very, you know, his own very sophisticated model of, 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 of thinking and, and, and history. Um, but the, the contrast between them as such is, is, is something that I, I find very difficult to speak to. I think my Adorno's, my Hegel is quite Adornian, so. <laughs> no, not a dialectical <laughs> contrast. Perhaps if you had any concluding remarks, you don't want to take up too much of your time. You've been very generous with it all the way from Toronto. Well, but yeah, but this is really, it was very interesting hearing people coming from so many different walks and mm -hmm. um, different, different, with these different concerns. No, it was very interesting for me. And so I, um, it's, thank you. Thank you so much. And it's, um, and it's a lovely article, and it's so, it's so rich in its own language and imagery. It's a pleasure to read as well. It's been very thought provoking. Thank you. Yeah. Well, great. It's really, I really enjoyed talking to you all. So, so thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. That went in a really good direction. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. Oh, good, good, good. Oh. Um, okay. Oh. <laughs> Wait, yeah, no, I'm, glad, I, I, I'm glad you all have something, something to contribute. I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chad. I realized it was funny because we are going around the circle and the next morning I was like, oh, he's not behind the camera. You were a team player. That was yeah. beautiful. Thank you, Chad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although, other for the most of it, I kind of used to Mars. I, I, I kind of positioned myself. It's a good thing that I yeah. then you were here. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. I thought tomorrow was blocking you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was already thinking something that relates, you know, to, well, to, yeah, it's just too difficult. Like, we don't, we don't, yeah. We don't talk about these things in economics. <laughs> yeah. I think we should. Precise it, too. I think we, we yeah. should because it's it's a you know it's a, when you want to implement policies and you ignore you know people's um, yeah like yeah, yeah. people's uh, nostalgia. It's yeah. yeah. Sorry. Thank you for coming out, everybody. Thank you.